Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run where we are trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty with four rookies only. And that's really the bottom line of it. Nothing else other than rookies are supposed to be used. Um, we have made it quite far after the resounding victory in the last Golden Path mission. It it's just a matter of really researching and making sure that everything's working out well. I've used all of um, the the items that I could find and essentially came to the conclusion that the prime items, meaning everything that I would like to take on to the last mission, should really stay safely. If we're lo losing rookies, if, even if we lost everything that these guys are carrying, it would be replaceable uh, where as you can also see even the heavy weapons I've downgraded them one notch so basically net net I want to make sure that even if we're stumbling or tumbling on the finish line we will get there safely and can hopefully win that entire mission so uh, uh, well at least get to the last uh, the last mission whether or not we can win it is a completely different story Today we're going to fight against elite officers, purifiers, uh, quite a few uh, mechanical enemies, as I can see here, and an Andromedon. By seeing that many mechanical enemies, I will take one more blue screen rounds with us, because I just made up the mind that that would be better, and we got a supersonic or ultrasonic lure. These four are going to be... Uh, trying to upgrade their bonds really as I'm leaving the bond three soldiers behind for now mainly in an attempt to uh, make sure that we do have enough bond three soldiers for the final two missions all right let's jump into it and see how this mission is going to go good we have just landed so We are looking for a pretty long push. Uh, that's going to be difficult. Seven turns and we only have secondary gear. We might not be able to do that nicely. I'm somewhat tempted to look uh, to use that long road, but it might be blocked, so I'm not sure. Position confirmed. Moving up. Rail takes high ground. Hmm. That could be a straight up kill. I think we're going to do it. Why, why hasn't his comrade triggered, I wonder? Sometimes the game is strange. We killed... We killed uh, the Codex, but yet... His comrade has not triggered. Very strange. Good, moving up. On my way. And the lead lancer is going to take the front line here. Overwatch, 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 overwatch. I'm not sure if I'm going in aggressive uh, aggressive enough. If you set an overwatch in a perfect world, it actually triggers. Here it triggers 
super triggers against the loss, so that doesn't necessarily feel like a good investment of an entire turn. Aggressive push forward. Alright, we can't really get to anyone else. So might as well take full cover. And a couple of 50-50s against that guy. Not a perfect place. I don't like taking 50... Well, and he dodges it like a champ. I don't like taking 50-50s. That's almost the only thing that we can do. All right, this guy's at least bleeding, which isn't too bad. So slowly but surely we're going to see more damage. Please now. All right. Fair enough. More losses are coming in, and we gotta deal with all of these annoyances on top of what we're anyways doing. But moving into a top position here, indestructible, full cover. Alright, our scout is supposed to scout all of this out. Likely going to trigger. There we go. This here should at least mark the three of them, maybe even more, so we don't need to deal with the loss anymore. Closing on target position now. We're going to go for the high ground soon. For now, let's focus on the enemies that are available, thank god they do have uh, target analysis, so they won't be able to do much. The only one that could reach us is uh, this guy. Ah, too bad. Still moving into full cover. Confirm. There's no need to shoot. Instead, we're just going to overwatch. I think he's running to the mech. Not sure, but he continues bleeding for now. Excuse me. Where's the overwatch? How, how does he even fly through the wall to begin with? 
And why wouldn't the Overwatch trigger before he flew through the wall? And, okay. Well, questions over questions. None of which will be answered by just ranting. But they are good questions. Alright, thank you. Well, now we need to deal with the Archons on top. Everything else. Half cover, or are we the only one for full cover? Mm, difficult. Moving up first, half cover. Oh, okay. Well, we found out where that little bugger was hiding. First things first, well, this guy here needs to die, okay? Good, fat, hit, I like it. This should be out of the explosion radius. Barely. This here as well, but it's very much in his reach. No, I think it's... Dare... Uh, mm. Explosion is this, 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 this uh, direct adjacent, and then a little bit further. But it's not a bad explosion, so we're taking like three points of damage at max. Let's kill that Archon. Pretty bad. Can we stun him? Nice critical hit. I'll give you that. There is another mech back here. Careful. I think this will be Mimic Beacon number one. He's destroying his own cover by swinging in melee. And that other Archon will do so as well. This here is very unfortunate. I was really hoping we would kill the Archon. Didn't work out. What? 
Wow, okay, crit 15. Well, hallelujah, that was a nicer crit. Down to two hit points. Still standing. Nice, 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 nice. Specifically, the destruction of cover. Alright. We can't reload because we're burning. Moving forward. Let's try to get these guys down. Fortunately unsuccessful. She will be forced to reload, so that movement handover wouldn't even really do much. We need more damage now, so time for a technical handover. There you go. Fantastic. All right, a tiny bit of cleanup would be helpful. Specifically, the dashers are a bit of a problem if they will attack us afterwards. So we're freeing up, uh, we're creating kind of a channel so that we can move through here Got him. I'm running low on ammo. two for uh, two four six eight Okay, let's get this guy down as well. Enemy destroyed. Let's rock. I'm out of firepower over here. And let's get the Andromedon. Minimum damage that was not successful. Trying to put a living Mimic Beacon right next to him.
Oh, careful, careful, careful. Good, I mean, it kind of goes without saying we need to get to the network beacon very, very fast. Nice little hits. We know that there is a nasty, nasty pack over here. I'll do that with two hit points. Equally, we don't have anyone else who could try to do that. All right. High ground. Yes, please. Got another mimic beacon, so maybe we should save that one for now. I would love to use an ultrasonic lure, knowing that there is this massive pack back here. I think we're just going to do that. Good chance to kill him. And we can move back. All right, I got a phone call. Sorry, back in action. So how many actions do we have left? Ares, Grell, and that's it. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nope, that's not a kill. Two, four, six, seven. That is a kill. We don't want to kill too many of them. I think we're okay for now. And instead, let's shove our gun into the face of that faceless one. Hate to be held back by them, but it is what it is. And we're moving over here. Tactical analysis. Ooh, he went in with suppression. Interesting. Well, that just killed our lost plan. <laughs> With just one shot, he eliminated almost all of them. The only one uh, left standing is that one lost. But, luckily, a new lost swarm appears. Oh yeah, hit him, hit him. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Destroy the suppression.
Okay, if we explode the purifier, there might be another swarm coming. Alright, so first things first. This might trigger another pack. Damn it. Can we get in range to hit her? No. <sighs> and it's the last round. <laughs> this is so unfair on many, many, many levels at the same time. I was hoping for the Stun Lancer to solve this issue here. Or the Lost. Uh, we do have an issue. If we're getting hit, this is over. But I need to move in, hack, and move out, and it needs to happen. Can I somehow need it? Move in, hack, move out, and I need to be getting the teamwork. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, so teamwork first. Yes. Let's try to destroy as little of the wall behind there as humanly possible. Suppression has just been removed. Now. Moving up. Hacking. Ooh, enemy protocol. Yeah, we're taking that. Move to here. There might be another pack here. In a perfect world, I would just move to here. These guys are a problem, though. This might be the safest position. This is even safer. Understood. Moving out. Okay, so... Well, that at least was a start. Not a bad one. Nice little hit. Yeah, trigger. And no explosion. Oh, it is unfortunate. Moving a bit further over here, okay? Let's just try to hit the shell. 
84% is a no-no. And I'll just stay here to tank so that we're not losing our soldier. End of turn. The mech needs to die immediately. And you guys just go to town with the with the eye and all of its stupid accomplices. Uh, uh, Keep on hitting them, deal damage, do the very nastiest things that you can do. Fantastic. That's a good start. Headed there now. Another hit. Very good. On reserve. Roger. Blocking the way up. And taking high ground ourselves. Move into here. Did we just pull them? No. Okay, well, we just put them. Let's stick our lance into your ugly face. Didn't stun him, though. Rover watching. And we're standing here so that he can get shot. I still hit. hit the armor. This is, by the way, technical analysis. You shouldn't be able to do anything else. Use your melee attacks. They don't reset. Oh, oh, that's not good. We gotta get out of here. Good. Oh boy. Two hit points. We gotta save our agents. It's never good to be at the front line with two hit points. I have a revolutionary idea which is just running away with her. 
getting out of the thickest here. Moving over, this is going to be Mimic Beacon. We do not have a way to shred the Gatekeeper further, but it is clear as day that the Gatekeeper needs to die first, so reload it is. And let's kill it. Nice little hit. Mimic Beacon. Uh, potentially not good to shoot him without blue screen rounds. So the normal weapons are going to be aimed against the Archons. Keep in mind we don't have like uh, the advanced repeaters in here. These are the reserve weapons that we could lose without feeling bad about it. Stunned? No, not stunned. Moving slightly away. Alright, this is going to be our lifeline here. I like the Mimic Beacon. Mimic be Beacons are good. They help protect us from gateway which is a nasty ability well they did their job quite well so far luckily the other archons will be busy Fighting. <sighs> that is very unfortunate. It essentially takes away our high ground. Yeah, we can't stand uh, stay there. This is really, really bad. And we gotta deal with the Archon. We also need to deal with the gatekeeper because if there is a gateway here, well, this is a hundred zombies. You don't want to deal with a hundred zombies. Nice little hit, by the way, or hits rather. Far, far away. Nice little hit. I like it. Blue screen rounds. Moving to here, closest that we could get to the eyeball, and hopefully this is a kill. <laughs> oh, it lets me down in the darkest of hours. Committing to the to the eyeball 50 50 come on Target 
Good. That was good and very, very much needed. Now we got that stinker up here. Done, please. No, we missed. Okay, hmm, that's unfortunate. But what we can do is Oh, when we miss we Okay, no No bleeding rent when the stun monster misses. That is unfortunate. Very nice, keep them coming. Now nah, this might be another faceless one. Look, if you do have low hit points, there's a very simple rule. GTFO. We're getting far, far away. The two rookies with some hit points are still standing here. Unfortunately, can't hit him from there, so we're just going to double overwatch. We need some high ground soon. And I know there is still kind of a bleeding uh, purifier and a mech somewhere on the map to our left. So we got to be careful there as well. This guy is taking a lot of uh, damage at this point. Great. Good. Let's take that advanced stock. And we're at least starting to thin out the pack here. Taken care of. Kill confirmed. Target down. 
Very good. My ammo's running low. Moving over here, I I want our rookies to have a joint position. Overwatch it is. But they will go for the last Archon, who likely is going to die this turn. Good, from now on the loss are again our problem. Alright, couldn't hit them. I'm on the move. Let's do this. Good. I want to withdraw to the high ground and get them there. Yeah, I'm careful uh, to not take that high ground due to the pack that's still sitting somewhere here. Wow. Target neutralized. This here might be a really nice barrier for them that they couldn't overcome. Not sure they can't climb over it. I think they're stuck. Will do. Double move. Double move and next turn we can take the high ground. In the meantime, we can start taking out the loss here. This look, it looks like a nice barrier where they couldn't go through. Now, does that hold forever? Potentially not. For now, it's good. And we want to mainly get rid of the dashers. Alright, Universe does not take shit from any of them. She doesn't even need high ground. She's just using her superior position here. And has just killed like 10 of them. Good Overwatch. Okay, I think we found a nice uh, way around this. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, let's kill. Care of. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure there's still a pack around after the loss. I'm just trying to work around the low hit, uh, hit points here. Without getting too much into trouble.
Perfect, this team here is taking out most of them. Wouldn't have ever thought that this kind of passageway one time is going to be so relevant. All right, we're just overwatching for now. Another lost swarm. Fantastic. It's like a real zombie movie where uh, they are barricading themselves in. Behind a couple of barrels. Not wanting to come forward. Good. Universe continues her rampage here. There's still a pack around afterwards. And boy, do I not want to meet them. It feels we're very much out of uh, our resources. No more mimic beacons, nothing. Once we have that high ground here, I can slowly pull them back. Like I said, there's another pack over here. Very likely they haven't really even moved. Okay, whether or not that's a sign that we're finally done with enemies, I don't know. Would have guessed that, like I said, there is still a mech. Maybe that mech has joined up with someone somewhere. We had a lot of kills, so I must admit I haven't fully been keeping track. Those annoying dashers. Target neutralized. Running dry on ammo. Nuova listante. Okay, at least we know about the pack now. They should have tactical analysis going for them. Oh boy. 99% misses. Good 
Good, we're trying this again. Couple of dashers. Let's let's block. Let's let them block it because that way the that way the faces one can't immediately get onto us. You're far down to four hit points. Come on, let's kill him. Okay, fantastic. Now, my concern about the last pack is finally gone. I think it's fair to say there is no last pack, there is only this one face this one there's no last pick anymore i should say we just killed it good universe has really done a nice job on this mission if you think about it she got hit she then sprinted and continued to uh, go to the uh, to the target. She then, against all odds, uh, survived that, moved back, used her plasma cannon uh, in a nice uh, line and killed, uh, or almost killed, uh, the gatekeeper, as well as actually killed um, the one Archon that was standing next to her. Then she continued to move back, uh, really fell fell nicely back here and is now holding against that swarm. I think she could easily be considered the MVP of this mission. Nice, and we marked uh, this guy beforehand, so he will now need to deal with all of them. Fantastic. In the meantime, we are getting onto that high ground. And then we're waiting for the last swarm to come visit us. Boy, what a mission. I know why I'm not taking second-hand gear normally. It just makes it even more difficult. Although it's hard to tell if this mission would have been much easier with uh, our regular gear. Good. We're moving up here, blocking the ladder. Fantastic. Love the high ground. Good to go. 
And... Almost done. But boy, boy, they are still coming. Apparently at the end of the mission, like shortly before it's done, more and more swarms are coming. Good. Universe continues to shoot everything in line of sight. <laughs> Ninety-eight percent shot missed, followed by an eighty-eight percent missed. Only thing that would be missing is the good old 100% uh, miss. Just to make it a bit more funny. Good, so the faces one is gone, right? That means all we have to deal with are the losts now. What? How? Wait. What? How? All right, that changes it. No need to ask twice. We're sprinting back. Go, go, go. That was uh, the first dasher who could overcome the unclimbable barrier that we have uh, set up for them we should almost be done there can't be that many of them left Straight up a hundred. Okay, what a mission. Wow, what a mission. Gravely wounded and gravely wounded. And that's an understatement. They got completely mauled. Wow, what a mission. 95 intel, that's a good start. We wanted some more intel for the network tower. Avenger plotting new course. Humans and their curiosity are not easily separated. Good. We got all negative traits removed. Commander, we want to set back the aliens work on the Avatar project. Very good. And we wanted to do that supply rate. That is a smash and grab. Not perfect, but maybe we will get um, a... Maybe we can get a single crate out of there and that could be a core. I can already see the enemies are quite strong. We're at least going to win that mission, so that won't be a problem. In terms of timing afterwards, 
two more days for the stasis suit and then nine more days uh, for the avatar we got enough intel we're relative as as ready as it gets really like i said we could hope for that plasma breakthrough it's unlikely to happen common preparedness is soon going to happen as uh, as well but unfortunately the dark events are also coming in so maybe we'll just go with the shadow chamber um, and finish that and then kind of end of uh, january we might be ready for the actual network tower and uh, try to finish Waterworld. Good. Whatever it is, uh, it is definitely a banger so far. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your viewership. If you enjoy the campaign as a whole and specifically how we bring the B team, so to speak, then leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.